If you're having issues with Google Ads keywords not showing, then there's a couple of things to check to see what might be going on. So I'm in Google Ads here and I'm under campaigns. There's like this drop down once you click on campaigns and I've clicked on search keywords. This is going to take us to all of the keywords that we're advertising for in this specific campaign that I've already selected up here. And from here we can see that there are a whole bunch of variations of keywords that we're targeting with different match types. Now, because of having a keyword in here, some people think that that means their ads are always going to show up when somebody searches for that keyword. But that's not really how things work anymore these days. Maybe way back in the day, things used to be like that. But nowadays, no matter what, you're really only going to show up a portion of the time when, you know, your ads are only going to show up a portion of the time when people are searching for any given keyword. What we see a lot is people will take a keyword that they're advertising for and they'll come over to Google and they'll put this keyword in here and click search, search, excuse me, and they'll notice some ads up at the top here and they don't see their own ad. And so they think, oh man, my ads aren't running. But that's not really the case. I mean, there's only two, two ads showing up right here, and there might be 30 different advertisers trying to show up for this keyword, which means no one business is going to show up every single time. It's going to alternate between all the different businesses that are advertising on this keyword, essentially, right? And it's using its machine learning algorithms to figure out who should actually be showing up and when should they be showing up in order to provide the best user experience on the Google website, ultimately, right? So just because you're advertising for a keyword does not mean your ad's going to be showing up every single time somebody searches for that keyword. It's also worth noting that if you just keep doing a search and you do see your ad, but you don't click on it, that's going to mess up the performance of your ad because Google is tracking the user experience, which is like, you know, how often do people click on your ad when it shows up in the search results, which plays a pretty big role in your uh, positioning on Google ads. So whether you're showing up here up at the top or whether it drops you down into like the very bottom of the page is in part determined by your click through rate. So I typically advise people not to just sit and do searches for their keywords and try and see where they're ranking because that will actually negatively impact their ads, right? So now we're in this kind of catch 22. We're advertising for this keyword. We can't see our ad showing up um, by doing a search for it. So how do we know if our ad is actually appearing when somebody searches for this keyword? Well, to determine that, what we'd want to do is come over here. So we were in campaigns and in the uh, search keywords. Now we want to come over to insights and reports and then go to search terms. This is going to give us a breakdown of the actual keywords that people put into Google when they click on our ads. So going back to the keywords, just I don't want to go too deep into this, but there are different match types like broad match, phrase match, and exact match. Exact match is kind of what it sounds like. It's only going to have your ads appear when somebody searches a keyword that's very similar to this exact keyword that you put in. Phrase match is going to be more broad, so it's going to allow your ads to show up when people search for stuff that's kind of closely related in intent behind the search. And then broad is just basically anything goes <laughs> these days. So if you're using broad match keywords, you might be getting clicks on stuff that's totally irrelevant, which is eating up all your budget, and that's why you're not showing up for the keywords that you actually want to be appearing for. And the way, the only real way to determine what keywords you're actually showing up for is to go and look at the search terms, which again is under the insights and reports. So I've selected a campaign here and then went to search terms. And now I can see the actual keywords people are clicking on or searching when they click on our ads. So custom closets Phoenix, it does look like we are getting clicks for that, right? We got 16 clicks led to one conversion. So that's all good to go. 
this is a close match to a phrase match or a close variant to a phrase match keyword California closets Phoenix this is a competitor so we actually excluded this one but again you know unless you check your search terms you wouldn't really know that your ads are actually showing up when people do a search for that term so this is where you're gonna be able to see the actual keywords that you're showing up for some of you may not have any data in here and in fact some of you may not even have any of this available like you might not see search terms you might not see search keywords in which case you want to go over to campaigns so I clicked campaigns here and then there's just this drop down you click campaigns and you want to find the campaign or campaigns that you are running and see which kind of campaign it is so this is a search campaign and that means that we are going to be showing up in the search results like this right there are other types of campaigns like performance max and smart campaigns display campaigns video campaigns like youtube there's a whole bunch demand gen <laughs> that quite a few different types of campaigns that you can run but only a select few of them have the option for you to show up in the search results when somebody does a search. So that's the other place I would check is just to make sure that the campaign that you're trying to check the keywords for is actually a search campaign. If it is, then you'll be able to come here to see the keywords like we were looking at before and come to the search terms under insights and reports in order to see the actual terms people are searching for when your ads are showing up. Now the last thing I would check if you know if it is a search campaign there's nothing showing up in the search terms right and you don't see it showing up on Google here at all I would check to see if you're actually spending money on the ads if not try raising the budget a bit to see um, you can also try changing the bid strategy so if you click on this um, cogwheel right here we can see that there's a bidding option and if we just start with maximize conversions and there's no conversion data then the ads probably not going to run at all so you might just switch this to maximize clicks so if this says clicks then you're gonna the a basically the machine learning AI is not going to prevent you from getting clicks that's what we want to address with that so assuming that we're running a search campaign with maximized clicks as the bid strategy, we've got a decent budget. Um, if we do have some numbers, like we're getting some impressions, but no clicks, then we want to check uh, our search loss impression share from rank and search loss impression share from budget, which you can just click columns here, click modify columns, and then do a search and add in those impression share you know you can just do is which will find all the impression share related ones I've already added them in here so you'll see them showing up here uh, but these are going to be indications of how our ads are performing and whether we're getting impressions or not based on specific situations so if we hover over a search loss impression share from rank it's an estimate of how often our ad did not show on the Google search sites due to poor ad rank. So it's basically like the quality of our ads. And if our ads are really really poor quality, then this number is going to be really high. Like sometimes you'll see it'll say 90% or greater or greater than 90%, something like that. Which typically means that the actual ads we created are really low quality and that's preventing our ads from showing up at all which is probably why you're not seeing them when you do a search or there may be a really high search loss impression share from budget right like it might be that in your industry the cost per click is relatively high it's like 30 40 50 dollars per click and your daily budget is a dollar <laughs> right and you're missing out on 99 percent of the impressions you know that could be an issue as well so you really want to just check from this point whether the quality of the ads are decent and whether you're putting enough budget in to actually be showing up in the search results. Those are the biggest things. If you you know address those items and you're still not 
seeing anything happening here or anything in your search results or your, I mean your search terms, uh, then you might just end up reaching out to the Google Ads support team, which you can do through this little help panel up here and you know have them just double check and make sure all your settings look correct because there are so many different little settings in Google Ads. Now all, all it takes is one little thing like your bid strategy to not be set correctly and you're you know you might not be showing up or you may be showing in a different geographic area so when you're doing a search you're not seeing them. I mean there's so many different factors that could be causing this sort of issue to, to to be occurring where you're advertising on a keyword but you're just not seeing it showing up. So anyways, I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't, don't hesitate to reach out. Just drop your questions in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.